He is too hardworking. Hey guys, hope you all are doing good. Your boy is back with episode 3 review of Demon Slayer Season 4 so let's dive into it. At first we see Tingin's intense training session begins with him shouting, it all starts with the basics. The basics! Noticing a trainee out of sync, he remarks, you slacker. You won't survive Shinazugawa and Kenroji's training after this. Amidst Tingin's wooden sword smacks and the trainee's realization that hell awaits them, a cheerful and energetic Tenjiro arrives for the first phase of the Hashira training. I don't know whether it's just me or not, but it looks like all the low-ranking members of the Demon Slayer Corps are very weak, except for Tanjiro and his friends. Also, Tingen's earrings were overly detailed for no reason. We see Tanjiro's energy and enthusiasm stand out against the other trainees' dread, reminiscent of the eager student in the front row who enthusiastically reminds the teacher about homework. The scene shifts to some trainees on night duty, discussing the demons searching for Nezuko. As they spook each other, an upper-ranked demon lurks in the shadows. Over the next few days, Tanjiro excels in Tingen's rigorous training. During breaks, the other trainees ask about fighting upper ranks. Tanjiro explains, it's like pow, and you're already hit. If you're not dead, you turn around, only to get slammed again. Then you feel a crunch. And if that cuts off the oxygen to your brain, the trainees quickly figure out that they won't understand a thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they killed the upper rank 4 in the last season, so I'm wondering how he is still alive. I mean Musen obviously wouldn't save a loser, so it's not making much sense to me. Also Tenjiro's wise words aren't meant for everyone. Moving on we see that as Tenjin has everyone run a lap around the mountain, Tanjiro reflects, everyone with the potential to become a Hashira is kind deep down inside. He recalls his cold noodle contest with Tomioka, who let Tanjiro win so he could join the Hashira training. Meanwhile, Shinazugawa and Igiro discuss their skepticism about their trainees becoming Hashira or being able to fight the upper rank demons. Shinazugawa also voices disbelief about the events at the castle and the possibility of a safe haven for the demons, the Infinity Castle. They decide to spar as part of their training. I'm glad that Shinazugawa and Igiro didn't ignore what they saw and are trying to further investigate things, because if they can figure out what Infinity Castle is, then they will have a big advantage over Musen. Also I wonder if only demons can open the Infinity Castle, because if that's the case then Nezuko might play a part there. Next we see that during the physical training, Tingen's three wives, Suma, Makio, and Hinatsura thank Tenjiro for his help in the Entertainment District battle. Hinatsura adds that without everyone from that day, they wouldn't have been able to defeat the demons. They ask Tenjiro to defeat Muzen. I agree with Hinatsuru that if even one person was missing during Tengen's fight then all of them would have died. I mean Tenjin literally lost an arm in that fight and was forced to retire. At the end we see Tenjin introduces a new training format where the trainees must fight him, role-playing as an upper-ranked demon, in the dark. As the fight begins, Tenjin easily defeats most of the trainees. Tenjiro starts to hold his ground, inspiring the others. Although they don't win, there's a noticeable change in the team's attitude. From the next day, they stop complaining during training. Tenjin then allows Tenjiro to proceed to the next phase of Hashira training. Tenjiro arrives at Takito's house, where Takito is training his juniors and scolding one of them. I don't understand why everyone keeps asking Tenjiro to defeat Muzen. I mean it's not like Tenjiro is as strong as a Hashira, and I don't think they even know that he is the chosen one. Also I'm interested to see how Takito will train Tanjiro, because Tanjiro is his only inspiration at this point. Overall it was a chill episode, and it mostly showed how much Tanjiro improved over the time. Although I didn't like that they dedicated an entire episode just for this. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description, until then see ya.